Uh, all right, well, it's an honor to talk to you guys tonight. Um, this last year has been amazing and crazy. Um, I was diagnosed with uh, esophageal cancer last um, September, um, and it was a crazy ride to surgery in October. Um, so it all happened very quickly. Um, kind of a blessing that we found it. Um, they were staging me much um, more severe than what it turned out to be. Um, and um, all my prayers have been answered. Uh, the biggest one is when you're young and you have a two-year-old, that's the thing that was going through my mind. Um, you hear the C word and um, I felt the Lord's comfort through this and reassurance in ways that I've never, never felt it before. Um, he, I felt him with me, um, mostly in the hospital. I was in the hospital, in the ICU for 20, 23 days. Um, and um, the surgeries were awful, but it was the mental um, struggle afterwards. Um, I was unable to eat from October 23rd through December 27th. So I was all too fed or drink, Not, nothing orally, uh, no medicine or anything. Um, and that's one thing when you're in the hospital and you have a nurse right there and everything happens. Once they finally send you home <laughs> and I just have a wonderful wife to help me, um, it was a struggle. And her going back to work and me literally just sitting there all day. Um, and the only thing you want is just a drink of water. And um, it was a struggle, but like I said, he was with me. Every prayer I prayed, I feel like he answered it. Not in a way that I thought he would necessarily, but the blessings that I have felt in the last year, I, I don't know, you, you hear stories and and it's, it's different when you feel it. And it's it's great um, to be a Christian, believe in the Lord, and to have him move my life like he has, and for the ability to tell others. And there's a reason it all happened. And um, whether that's, whether it's already, I've already changed someone's life from talking to, uh, over the last year, or it's to come, and, and that's, and it, that makes it worth it. Um, and I'm happy. Cassie had to deal with everything I had to, um, and I, I couldn't think of a better partner in life to help me through it, and a wonderful daughter that put up with that daddy for so long. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, Tim was going through it, and I guess I was too, but to a certain extent. But um, when Jimmy asked us about how to share just how God answered prayer in our lives through this time, um, I thought of some very Obviously, he answered it in big, huge ways with Tim. I mean, right now, it, when you're diagnosed with this cancer, you have to have a radical surgery, and it's very hard recovery. Very few people get back to 100%. And he is standing here, and he's strong, he's able to work, and that's amazing and yes. miracle in itself. But I was thinking of the little weird things that I was praying for as we were in the thick of it. Um, one is that, that we didn't even expect it, that I guess we got one of the best thoracic surgeons in the region. Um, he used to be the top guy at UofL, we ended up at New Albany, who would have thought. Um, secondly is uh, just she had never been away from us. She goes to daycare, but we had been on one date night ever in her two and a half years <laughs> at that time. And I was in the hospital with him most of the time because of the severity of his, what was going on. He had several complications. and. Uh, she was a trooper, and that's all the Holy Spirit taking care of her through that time, too, because she was passed literally from one house to another, and she did, I guess, fine, unless people were lying to me. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, and she came out pretty unscathed, which was great. Um, the other aspect that was just financially, um, we didn't know it at the time, but and he is very uh, prepared, and he signs up for any insurance he can, but, but he missed the the short-term disability checkbox on our thing. So we weren't getting any short-term disability while he was off work, except for a very minimal amount. Um, 
So when I saw that for the first time, I just started freaking out because he was still in the hospital and I was worried sick about our finances because I wasn't working. Well, it turns out the money that we were getting, that was the little stipend from work, exactly covered her daycare for each week, which was mm -hmm. kind of amazing. It was like $2 more than what her daycare cost each week, which was wonderful. Um, then we had a bunch of donations, of course, that stepped up to the plate. My work, it actually turned out, was helping me accrue negative PTO because they were still paying me even though I wasn't there, um, which was another blessing I didn't even know about, but God just provided so miraculously in that way. Um, and then here's one of the weird little things that I was thinking of, and there's so many more of these because every day in the hospital was an adventure with us. There were tests every day, and we were scared every day because something new was happening. But um, when he was home and I was working part days, his feeding tube, uh, his feeding tube started to come out, mm -hmm. and his surgeon is like, "Well, don't come in the office to get it redone until it comes out." Okay. <laughs> Um, because once it comes out, it comes out. You, and, and, oh, and that was his other thing. Well, just when it comes out, just jam it back in and hold it. <laughs> Push it back in. Put some tape. So on. I forget when we started noticing it pulling, but I had to go to work at noon, and I just um, I remember praying when I saw that it was coming loose. I'm like, dear Lord, just please let it happen before I go to work, because I don't want it to happen while he's by himself. And it did. It happened like an hour later. And even little things like that, like you think you don't think of them as huge things, but I was worried sick all day long had I gone to work and had I been thinking about him. Um, but you know, the Lord just helped us every step along the way from the huge things like the cancer and the not being able to eat to, to just little things like child care and, um, and a feeding tube coming out. And so it's just amazing to us and I think amazing for us to just remember um, looking back as we face other things in the future, you know, how faithful he has been to us yes. in every aspect throughout history.